We went to get food at Amala's guy. Because oh, I yeah. was like, Amala is the best thing. Is it? Yes. Is it really? It is. It's really not though. You don't have this. That's why I couldn't buy it. <laughs> when we got there, they didn't have anything other than Amala. And apparently, I, I be. Mean, the name is Amala's guy. What were you expecting? It's kind of weird for the food place to just sell Amala. The name says Amala Sky. I mean, you have to realize that it's weird for them to just sell Amala. What should they have sold? Huh? What else should they have sold? Other food at least. Like, how can your food place just sell Amala? I don't know. Whatever. All they had was Amala. That you could know it. Yeah, because I, I don't eat it. Day, like, won't they give you the right? Won't they, you know, spice your... So we went to this other place close by that had in their defense... Your bougie place. Yes, the bougie your place. Variety. My defense, they have a right to right. Oh, yeah, now at the end, eat it now. The food was so bad. <laughs> you know how you eat food and you're like, oh, it has too much one thing or it has too much of this? It just didn't have anything. It's like the food was just food and color. It did not have salt or pepper. I mean, like, I bought it for like to eat before I started fast. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Well, when you haven't had anything to eat for like a really long time, anything was, kind of tastes good. It wasn't that bad. It was, it was, it was bad. It was bad. Was it, it didn't taste like anything. Since we're here, we're going to try to explore a bad on nightlife. <laughs> what are drinks? Eh? <laughs> And it was taking like a long ass time, which is weird because it's just drinks, not like you have to like make it or anything. <laughs> After wasting like 20 minutes to get like fucking Maltina or something, I was like, Mom, where are the drinks to order? And then she was let just me, like, Let me tell you a mistake. You were speaking English. And then she was just like, Calm down, Joe. <laughs> and walked away. And I was like, Let me try. Oh, not that. only did she walk away, she walked away, went behind the bar to smoke shisha. Are you serious? And I was like, What is happening? <laughs> we decided to call it a night and pick it up in the morning. You know, you know how they say like the worst thing that can happen will happen. Mm -hmm. Day two of Ibado. I did not push. I'm sorry, but I didn't come to this life to suffer. Yesterday was good, but today needs to be better. And even though we're getting off on a bad note, we're ditching the bus to go see what the city looks like from a micro's perspective. The highlight has still been Bauer Tower, like Bauer Tower. Oh, yeah, that place is pretty chill. God. Like, getting up is like shit, though. <laughs> like, yeah, you are getting there, you're like, I'm gonna get to get stuck. I'm gonna get so, to get like, stuck. You should have just made it a ladder so that we'll know what we're doing. Like, why did you make your stairs come out around so that you don't have to squeeze yourself? Like, I mean, you, imagine climbing up that thing and then you just like come out versus stick. Like, what do you do? Where do we go from? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I swear that, that view, like, you know, after after Bauer style, I was like, we've cracked in Bauer, but it's going to be fun. You see. Then everything else went to shit. And then we left. We and got lost. Yeah, in the Bauer at night. Then, you know the worst part? Everybody is trying to cheat us. Yeah. They think, oh, we're from Lagos, we're from Lagos. The guy that guided us to our place, what they call it, five grand. Why? With only a few more hours left, we're heading to the zoo in the University of Ibadan. We're not leaving any options out. If there's anything that can help us find our sanity, we're going to find it. The zoo was amazing. And as a plus, we got to chat with the super nice director who had a very important message to deliver. Zoological Garden University of the Pardon need help for philanthropists. Not only in terms of money. If you have animal that you want to donate, you can bring them. We knew we had to get back to Lagos, but not before we saw the dam and said our final goodbyes to the city. Lagos to Badon. Enter with your change. <laughs> it was good to get away for like a few days, even though it was short. And we spent a lot of it running around trying to experience sanity. Bow us down and give us some of that. Sure. Even when it was the dam was early. peaceful as hell, but. Also, I remember how we checked Google Maps and how long our journey back would be. <sighs> it told us two hours, so we were like, yeah, two hours. You know, you know what? After you were Batman, then the next person that lies the most. <laughs> Google Maps in Ibadan. <laughs> After being stuck in traffic for six hours and technically risking our lives, we finally got back to Lagos. Did we find our sanity? Probably not, but we found something else. Ibadan is an amazing city, and even though we stuck out like a sore thumb, there are a lot of cool experiences.
people with great energy, clean ass air, and a shitload of brown roofs. I don't think you can find this in So you tell Why? us this now that we're on the road already? I mean, Why didn't you tell us before we I mean, left? If you don't have peace, what is the battle going to do for you? You just tell me I don't have peace. I mean, you will not have peace. I have peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Stop it. <laughs> well, you have peace, but you don't have sanity. There's a big difference. You don't have sanity. Oh my God. <laughs> so you're insane like this. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs>